Hey guys, um, I'm back. I know it's been a really long time, but it's been so freaking crazy. I'm actually on my um, webcam for my computer because I just didn't feel like plugging in my camera and fixing it and it's just, oh, it's annoying. So a lot of things have been going on recently. I went to Dominican Republic for a week, for like eight days. Um, that's where I've been and then, and then I got back six days ago and for the past six days I've been, um, working so like like my actual work so I've been at my job for the past like six days and then now is my only day off since I got back from Dominican Republic and I have to pack to go to Florida so I'm leaving tomorrow 8 a.m. so it's crazy but yeah I have I shopped a little bit today um and I know I'm so oh, I'm sorry I was MIA for a little bit I just had a lot of like personal stuff going on a lot of like something happened to my family and it was really upsetting and I just figured kind of like um I, I kind of feel like you guys are my friends you know and I like talking to you guys and it's like an outlet so um yeah you guys make me feel better so I did, at first I didn't want to do videos but then I'm like I'll, I'll do videos so, yeah. Oh, also my boyfriend's on my bed. He's not in view, but he's on my bed. So, yeah. This intro's freaking long. But he's, he's sleeping. I thought he was sucking his thumb for a second. I was like, you're a weirdo. But no, he's just, he's just, he's sleeping. You can see it a little bit. A little bit right there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Um, I went to a bunch of places. Sephora being the main thing. So, uh, let me just get started with the haul. I got a new curling iron. My curling iron, I don't know if you guys have seen, but the last um, few videos, my curls haven't really been up to par, uh, up to part, or I've been doing my hair straight because my curling iron just kind of died on me. I had the T3 and it was amazing when I first got it, but then it just kind of became bad. So I got this one. My friend recommended this to me. Um, this is this is the Sultra, the Bombshell 1-inch curling iron, and this is the Calimpless. It has no clump, like clip, clip. It's like a, it has just like a stick. Let me just show you what the hell it is without like, you know. Um, this is what it looks like. <sighs> um, I don't know. But anyway, this is the cord and it's just the wand. It has no clip. So you just have to, you know, hold your hair while you do it. It comes with a glove. It's amazing. I actually did it yesterday. So my curls are all kind of messed up today because I just slept in them. But, um, it was really, really amazing. Like, it was so good. Um, I didn't have to even put any curling, cur I didn't have to, well, I didn't have to put any hairspray on my hair. It was just ridiculous. I was like, oh my god. So, um, oh, don't mind the Godiva bag. I'm packing. So, like, it's just weird just standing there. Then I went to Sephora again. And when I was at my job, I got a new cleanser. I was using, like, this drugstore cleanser that kind of ran out, and I was like, bleh. You know what I mean? It wasn't anything amazing, so I didn't repurchase it. So I got the... I've been trying the Origins Zero Oil. I actually never had anything from Origins, or if I did, it was a very long time ago. So I don't know, like... I mean, I know Origins is a really good brand, so this is the Deep Pore Cleanser, and I obviously have oily skin, so this is Zero Oil. It has, um, Saw pal Palmetto and Mint in it, so, um... It's supposed to kind of just deeply clean and hydrate your skin, not hydrate, and um, cleanse your skin while um, minimizing the production of oil. So, yes, that's that. I used it once. I kind of like it. Then I have like a big bag full of crap. I mean, it's not that big, but I got a book, and it was random, right? But, yes, I do read. I love to read, actually. If you guys want to know my, like, top books of all time, just let me know. I'd love to do that. But... I got Conversations with God and Uncommon Dialogue. Um, it's Obviously, I've been going through some stuff. My friend recommended this to me, and she said it's amazing, and so far it's really good. Um, so I got that just today. I was reading it like, on the train and stuff, going home. I got more Sephora stuff. Um, oh, so much stuff. I got like a little Escada sample, which I'm excited about. This is called Especially Escada. Little Escada. It's so cute. Let me just show you. It was like 100 points. I wish I thought it was like a 500 point gift, but it wasn't because I have more than 500 points. It was like a 100 point gift. It's so cute. So you guys should pick it up if you have some points on your cards. It's a little mini Escada perfume. 
but that's not what I got from Sephora. I got this, and I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. I've seen advertisements about this and stuff. This is called the um, DJV Beautinizer Fiber Wig XL. Um, the Fiber Wig Mascara, like they um, they say, like it's like fake lashes painted on. So I've always wanted to try it, and not a lot of people talk about it. So maybe it's not good. I don't know, but I'm gonna give this a try. Um, my uh, my Dior one that I used up, you know, I used it up, so I needed something else. So if you guys have ever tried this, let me know. Uh, let me t like tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd really want to know like what your experience was with it. So I got that. I got a, and then I also got um. Oh, I don't know this. Com I know you guys know how to say this. L'Occitane. I don't know. Um, I'm really bad with names, especially French names. Lots of, lots of, uh, I'm not going to say it. Anyway, I got an eye cream. Um, this one, I was like walking around. And the thing is, I also, yes, I have, I had, if you guys watch my videos, I've had the Bobbi Brown um, eye cream, but I lost it in Dominican Republic. Like, I lost it and I was so upset, but I didn't want to buy an $80 eye cream again. I mean, I might if I don't like any eye cream, but I was kind of like, mm-mm. And this one wasn't really much less. This was like $50, but I decided to just give this a try. Um, this is just, you know, I, I don't want anything like too crazy. I'm not like 50 years old. I don't really need it. I just need something that hydrates. I don't need anything that like covers fine lines or anything too crazy and intense yet because I'm not, you know... I don't have lines yet, but I feel like as long as you keep your eye area moisturized and you're kind of younger, that's the main preventative for getting wrinkles in the, you know, later on in life. So I don't really believe that you need to buy like $80 eye creams. I mean, yes, the Bobbi Brown one was really great if you have the income to spend on it, but I don't think you necessarily need an $80 eye cream if you're younger because as long as you keep that area hydrated at all times and kind of moisturized, you will prevent wrinkles. So yeah, but this is like, you know, whatever, fills in lines and it's good. I, I mean, I heard it's good. People have, um, it's, it reduces dark circles and puffiness or is less visible, which is good. Eyes area looks younger which I don't really need, but this is the Precious Eye Cream Balm. Um, yeah, firmer skin, reduces appearance of wrinkles, which again, I don't really need, but it, it does the job, it moisturizes, so you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's all a girl can ask for. Oh, okay, then I went to, I went duty for, on, um, in duty free, going back from, um, Dominican Republic, I got the Chanel, um, Bam, ba bam, right there. It's Hydra. It's a face cream. I like a lot. I love slash like my uh um oh what is it called? Oh, philosophy hope in a jar. But I wanted to give this a try. And um, duty free. You just don't get any tax. This was sixty eight dollars, which isn't that bad for a Chanel face cream. I don't think. My boyfriend thinks it's fake. But it's not. It's real. <laughs> and yeah, so I've um, I've tried it on once. I kind of like it so far. It just hydrates, you know, active moisture cream. And it smells really nice. It smells like, I don't know. You know what it, you know what it actually smells like? It's going to be really funny to say, but it's a liquidy consistency if you guys want to, if you guys see that right there. It smells like expensive cream. You know what I mean? Like that cold cream, but like an expensive version of the cold cream. It's really crazy. I can't even explain it, but it smells really good. So, um, yeah. It's Hydramax Precision Cream. So I'm excited. I love the bottle, obviously. It's just cute. I'm all about packaging, so that really gets me as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. Then, today, going back to today. Oh. My friend um, recommended me the Laura Mercier Candlelight, and I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, so I was like, oh, okay, whatever, but this is amazing. I used hers with like a big fluffy brush, and it's just the most amazing thing ever, so I decided to get one of my own, <clears throat> but I couldn't find anywhere. All the Sephora's were sold out, and I've never really heard anyone talk about the Candlelight um, Laura Mercier, so I was a little bit confused. But it's like a brown version of the um, of, of like the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's just it's just brown. You know what I mean? You see, it's like a little bit darker. 
Well, unless you have darker skin tone than the trans. Well, no. The trans, it looks like a, like a, almost like a bronzer. Not a translucent powder, but it is very light and it gives the most gorgeous glow to your skin ever. And my skin is really oily. Well, somewhat oily now. It used to be really oily, but now it's like somewhat oily because I control it. But I don't want my face looking dry. So I don't really like matte stuff because I don't want my face looking dry, but I don't want it to look overly oily. But this does not make me look oily. This just makes me look... It's just amazing. It's so, so gorgeous. So that's that. I don't know if you guys know, but you know all the websites you guys were like... I mean, I, like, if you guys are in the YouTube community, you heard a lot about, like, Little Black Box and, like, weird subscriptions like that and I checked that little black box and I was like wondering why Betsy Johnson was all over the place because like Betsy Johnson's kind of a higher end brand and I knew it was kind of a scheme because Betsy Johnson right now is going out of business so the fact that like all of these like hot look and all of these like this you know designer like markdown places which are really just fraudulent let me just tell you guys that like a lot of the stuff they're selling you cannot be sold anywhere else so like they have to sell it to you guys if that makes sense. Um, it's not as if you're getting a good deal. It's like this stuff has been in stores and it hasn't been selling. And that was what was happening with Betsy Johnson. Her stuff just wasn't selling. So her whole business is going down. Her um, Soho store is closing as well as all the other stores. I believe that's what the manager told me. But um, I got a dress and it was, it's really cute. But I honestly, when I walked by it, I didn't really think it was that cute because it doesn't look that cute on the hanger. Plus, I'm not that big of a, um, a floral person, but it was originally $228, and I'm not, and this isn't, like, fake. It really is, because, like, Betsy Johnson's just crazy like that. Her stuff is so overpriced, but it's amazing. I had her dress for my Sweet 16, so I absolutely love her stuff. Then it was going down to 171 then it was 114 and it was 50% off of 114 so I got it for, like, $57, which was freaking amazing. Um... It's just really, 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 really pretty. It has the exposed zipper, but honestly, it just looks like a bag when you show it on camera. Like, it doesn't have a silhouette, but it's really short and cute and lovely for summer and spring and even the fall because the, the, the print, the floral print isn't like a neon or anything. It's more of like browns and blues and purples and a little bit of yellow and beige. It looks really, really cute on. It has a little bit of that puff sleeve. And it's just really, really girly. Like, I'd love to wear this with a pair of, like, nude flats and just a simple bag. And that would be just really cute to go out to lunch in or something. It's a really, like, silky, soft material. So I got that. And, oh, so if you guys have any Betsy Johnson stores near you, I definitely suggest going over there and getting stuff. Because, like, it's crazy, crazy discounted. But for real. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that is, like, a real sale like real discounts like hot look and webs and just like websites like that you're getting the same deals as you would probably get in Marshalls if not I think Marshalls probably be even better deals and stuff than those kind of websites so I'm just saying just be a little bit you know cautious before you just think that all websites are just you know amazing sale deal websites they're not but yeah but check out Bustin Johnson and then um the last thing I got was the Brandy Melville, it's a classic cotton clothing. I got, um, I had a store credit for her because I had this shirt that I didn't like. I brought back, I think I showed you in a haul, and I brought it back because I didn't like the way it looked on me, so I got this instead, and this was more expensive than the shirt, but I figured, like, I already had the, you know, I already had, like, the little bit, um, the store credit, so I might as well spend a little more. I actually didn't try this on. It's one size fits all, so if it's not good... Then I have to return it again, or I don't know. I might not. I don't know. But it was a really cute kind of um, nice sweater. It was 57 I think. 53 And it just has holes in it. Very beachy, big, oversized kind of holy sweater, which would look cute. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Um, I will talk to you guys really soon. I have some stuff that I filmed from... DR, so that vlog stop type video will be coming up next. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed talking to you guys. I will see you all very, very soon. Love you all. Bye.